and um, and her, she's basically been found out. Because he, the, the, right before this scene happens, he goes into her bathroom to take a leak and sees his book, How to Disappear Completely and Not Be Found. Because Darkus is the type of idiot who leaves a book called <laughs> How to Be Disappear Completely and Not Be Found in her bathroom. So he jumps out and he says, Seriously? Have you taken a good look at this shit? At the cover? A pair of thick rimmed glasses and a big pink nose. Who's it by? Groucho Marx? And my God, look at the other publications from this place. Improvised weapons of the American underground. And this, professional homemade cherry bomb. And what's destined to be a classic, how to lose your ex-wife forever. What is this really? I think you were militia, but you're not in Texas. And as far as I know, militias don't have their, militias haven't relaxed their no Negroes policy. Meanwhile, I'm trying to figure out why exactly this man has started to think he has the wherewithal to act out in my own house. Yeah, he's been acting familiar all day, like this, but this shit, like he's my father or husband or something, is a whole new level. Calm down. What do you mean, calm down? You some kind of fugitive? Why would you need such a book? Not that I owe you an explanation, but I saw it in a bookstore and was curious. What bookstore? Soldier of Fortune? Those rac wackos read? It's a book. It's a manual, Dorcas, if that's your real name. Nobody buys a manual unless they plan to use it. And judging by the, all the dog ears, you've used it lots. I don't have to answer nothing to you. Then don't. But come on, surely this book is a crock of crap. Yeah, total junk as you would say. That's why I don't use it. I said the book was crap. I didn't say, I didn't say you weren't using it. Why am I not kicking, kicking him out of my house for getting angry with me? It's my fucking house. I pay the rent. Sorry, I swear. <laughs> And nobody gets to speak louder than me. What? I said it's my house and nobody gets to speak louder than me in my damn house. Sorry. Don't apologize. I'm the one that's sorry. He sits down. It's your house. Another version of me would say, I really appreciate that he cares. And be even moved that somebody could care about me despite knowing so little. But I don't say any of that. I didn't use the book. Well, thank God. Because, because... Because most of the stuff that's in there that it says to do, I already did. It's not the only book out there. What are you saying? Mr. Coulter pulls up one of my dining chairs and sits right in front of me. He takes off his jacket, and I try to stop reading symbols in everything, at least for a night. This is something I picked up from American Woman. It's trying to read every single thing a man does as containing a secret message from me. Right now, he's the fucking fugitive. <laughs> He's looking at me with this tilted head like he, he's about to ask me a question and waiting for the answer. I wish this man would understand that I'm not like all these people he watch on Donahue. All these people with their private business that they're dying to tell 13 million people. Tell one of these people a simple hi and they feel they must bend down and tell you everything. Flushing Cemetery, 46th Street, Flushing, New York. Hmm? Flushing Cemetery is where you'll find her if you care to look. Who? Dorcas Palmer. Dorcas Nevreen Palmer, born November 5, 1958, Spalding's Clarendon, Jamaica, died June 15, 1979, Astoria, Queens. Cause of death, tragic circumstances, meaning she got hit by a bus. Can you imagine somebody getting hit by a bus in New York City? And you're using her name just like that? Claudette Colbert was starting to sound obvious. That's not funny. I wasn't joking. Claudette Colbert was starting to sound obvious. You can't just use a dead person name. Isn't that pretty easy to trace? This might come as a shock, but a department in charge of debt certificates is really not the largest in the government. <laughs> I'm more shocked by your consistent use of irony. Not what I remember about Jamaicans. Right, you really want to hear this. You sound like you really want to tell it. No, not really. I'm not into this confessional fad thing going around. You Americans and your, you want to talk about it? I mean, <laughs> Jesus. Anyway, anyway, this is New York, and because this is New York, not many people who died here born here, and the states don't have some grand national record for anybody. So even if there's a death certificate, there is no birth certificate, and if you can get a hold of a birth certificate, then you don't have you have, you don't then you have you don't have to prove that you are you, without the real you coming after you. What about her family? They're all in Jamaica. They couldn't afford to fly for the funeral. Social Security? Oh, she's collecting that now. 
She wasn't. All you have to get is a birth certificate. Yes, I just called a registrar in Jamaica and asked for a copy of my, well, her birth certificate. Can't even remember how much I paid for it. People are always ready to believe the worst more than the not so bad. So why not give them the worst? You'd be surprised how many places you can say, I'm sorry, but I misplaced my passport or just say it's stolen, but I do have my birth certificate. Oh, right. They handed it over to you just like that? No. They handed it over for $7.50. <laughs> Jesus Christ, how old are you? Why do you need to know that? Oh, right. You're keeping that one a secret. Social Security didn't think it a little weird when you applied for a number so late? Not if you're an immigrant. Not if you have your birth certificate but can't find your passport. Not if you have a story long enough and boring enough that they will do anything just to get you out of the line. <laughs> Carry these two with you and you can easily get a state ID. And after that, $35 can get you a passport. But I didn't get one of those. That's in Chapter 2. But you're not an American citizen? No. Not even a resident? I have a Jamaican passport. With your real name? No. Christ, what did you do? I didn't do anything, says you. Come on, you must be on the lam. This story is already the most exciting thing since I can't even remember. What the fuck did you do? <laughs> who, uh, who knew that when you opened your door that your day would come to the sea? And I'm not on the lam. I am not the criminal. Oh, you got some son of a bitch for a husband who used to hit you. Yeah. Really? No. <laughs> Dorcas, or whatever your name is, is Dorcas now. I hope you thanked her for her generosity in sharing her name. Since you migrated under a false name, am I right to assume the person you're running from is in Jamaica? But well, clearly they have resources to track you, hence the false name. You should be a detective. <laughs> what the hell makes you think you're so damn safe? I'm living here since 1979, and he hasn't found me yet. So it's a he you're running from. Did you have to leave the kids behind? What? No, no kids. Good God. They aren't so bad until they start to talk. Who's this guy you're running from? Why you want to know? Maybe I can't, what, help? I already helped myself. <coughs> Listen. There I go. Right now, my life is having a place and establishing credit. Pretty much everything here is on a payment plan, even though I could very well have paid for all of it up front. That's from chapter four. <laughs> Look, if this is a moment where we have the big catharsis, I am very sorry to disappoint you. Oh, oh, disappointment is the last word I'll think of when I think of you, darling. I really should have said, I'm not your darling. I really should have said that. Instead, I said, it's getting late. You should go now. And how do you propose that a distinguished white gentleman of certain age get himself out of the, where are we again? The Bronx. Hmm. Strange. I totally forgot. And, and how did we? Never mind. Nature calls. He closes the door. His jacket had slipped off the chair and I pick it up. Heavy, too heavy for a summer jacket. I'm thinking, it's even lined. I would have to, I would sweat off these hips in this jacket. I'm folding it over when I see writing up in the left shoulder, which does not look like cleaning instructions. It's handwriting, like somebody wrote it with a Sharpie. If you are reading this and are near the owner of this jacket, please call 212-468-7767. Urgent, please call immediately. Thank you. <laughs> Put some questions to the floor.